Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be talking about the Type 95B1 Carbine in Battlefield 4. I'll be mastering this gun by getting over 500 kills with it, and we'll be talking about what situations it's good for, and especially when you might want to equip it, considering it can be equipped on any class. Now, like many other guns in Battlefield, this has a carbine version and an assault rifle version. The assault rifle version of this weapon is the QBZ 951. This carbine version is almost the exact same weapon with a few differences in the stats, but when it comes to aiming down sight recoil performance, it is identical 100%. Now aesthetically, the gun looks like it's something out of a bad science fiction movie. This is a standard rifle used in the Chinese military. Again, they have many variations of it for different tasks within the military, but uh, the carbine version, I imagine, shows up a lot in just the standard infantry. It's a bullpup designed weapon, which means the magazine loads in behind the trigger group, uh, giving you a shorter overall weapon length and uh, maintaining the same length in the barrel. So you can still have an accurate gun and accurate platform in a smaller package. Now unfortunately a lot of the real world benefits you would get from a bullpup weapon don't really translate that well into battlefield. For example the weight of this weapon is balanced very nicely meaning you could hold this weapon out with one arm if you wanted to uh, and it wouldn't really weigh you down over time which means that this would probably be a very good gun in real life for just holding it up aiming at a target waiting to take a shot. This is something that I imagine would happen a lot in standard combat so having less weight towards the front of a gun is actually a really big deal. Again, in video games, you're not going to really uh, see a difference on this. There's no sort of stamina characteristic in Battlefield. That would be kind of cool if they had that. It would definitely complicate uh, firefights and combat and stuff like that. But if there was an aiming stamina attribute, this gun would probably do really well in that department. So instead of getting the real world benefits, we have some interesting stats that we have to try and work with with this gun. One of the things that DICE decided to give bullpup weapons and make it a characteristic of bullpup weapons in this game is better better hip fire accuracy. So this can be a good gun for shooting from the hip and frankly you're going to need to especially in close quarter combat because the rate of fire on this weapon is so slow that you're just not going to be able to kill anyone fast enough. So you have to be very quick and start shooting your opponent before they start shooting you because you're just going to get out damaged. It only has 650 round per minute rate of fire making it one of the slowest firing carbines available. And considering that this has the standard carbine damage model meaning it's not going to be doing as much damage as an assault rifle at range, this gun doesn't have a whole lot going for it, hence being the last carbine I had left to get the mastery tag for. Now let's pop up the Simthic stats here and see if we're overlooking something about this gun, something that might make this weapon stand out or shine in a very specific situation. It's got that low rate of fire that I was talking about, 650. Its muzzle velocity is 540 meters per second, which is not bad for a carbine. It puts it up there towards the top of the charts in terms of bullet velocity, which means it could be decent for hitting moving targets. The only drawback is that its damage at range isn't particularly great. It drops down to 15.4 damage at 50 meters, which is all right, but assault rifles do better than that at range. So if you're looking for a good ranged weapon, you probably don't want the Type 95B. Not to mention, if you look over on the right hand side under ADS, it's only got a 0.35 aiming down sight accuracy to start with, and that's only going to get worse the more you shoot the weapon. So it's not particularly accurate to begin with. This, as much as I would like it to be a ranged weapon, just is not a ranged weapon. So maybe you're thinking, hey, it's already got good hip fire accuracy. Accuracy, the aiming down sight accuracy is not good at all, so clearly it's a close quarter weapon. Maybe its rate of fire isn't particularly great, and its reload time is 2.75 seconds for the short reload, which is crazy long. It's going to be a hard weapon to use in close quarters. Simply put, if you don't kill the person with your first magazine, you better be switching to your sidearm because 2.75 seconds is more than enough time for somebody to reload their gun, come back around the corner, and kill you before you can finish your reload. And if you don't think your opponents are going to be using really good fast reloading weapons or machine guns or whatever, you're wrong. People run around in this game with the best guns they can get. If you got the Type 95B, you're setting yourself up for a hard situation. Now one area that you could try and further outfit this weapon for is the moving accuracy, moving while shooting from the hip and moving while aiming down sight. Now if you like to try and strafe back and forth, make your opponents miss while getting good accurate shots off, then this gun isn't necessarily too bad in that department. You can actually put an ergo grip and heavy barrel and uh, start having ranged firefights with people where you're able to maintain your accuracy and they are not. And frankly, 
frankly, the Ergo Grip can be a great attachment, especially if you do like to strafe back and forth a lot while shooting. It makes a ton of sense, and that's something that I would urge most players to try and pay attention to, because some people think they don't strafe a lot when they shoot, some people think they're standing still. If you have the opportunity to record yourself, watch your footage back, and you'll see that a lot of people actually move around quite a bit while they're shooting. So the Ergo Grip makes a lot of sense for a much bigger percentage of the player base than you would think. Now, as for the attachments I ran with the weapon, I found it didn't matter too much. I was using a heavy barrel and stubby grip at one point, a heavy barrel and ergo grip. Ultimately, the barrel modification I found didn't make much of a difference. The recoil on this weapon is pretty darn low overall, so you're not gonna really need much in the way of recoil control, so just look on ways for improving the overall accuracy or perhaps your hipfire accuracy, depending on what you wanna do with the weapon. Hipfire accuracy might be the way to go since since this gun just doesn't have a lot else going for it. Optic wise, I was enjoying the EOTAC even though this isn't one of the better red dot sights in the game. Aesthetically, I like it a lot and since I wasn't really taking this gun too seriously, uh, I thought why not just make it look kind of cool while I'm using it. Now the EOTAC uh, has actually partnered up with that flip up sight in real life as well. So uh, I figured why not put a two times magnifier on there and kind of recreate a realistic weapon setup. Now a fun little fact about this sight is that it's designed to function with 5.56 ammo. So if the center dot is zeroed, for around 100 to 200 yards, then the second dot below that will be zeroed for around 500 yards. You'll notice when you aim down sight with the EOTech, there's those two little dots there. And that's what it's used for in real life. I haven't actually tested this out in Battlefield 4 since 500 yards is pretty much way too far away to engage with an assault rifle or carbine in this game anyway, but it's kind of cool that they actually added in the dots aesthetically anyway. There's a couple of different versions of EOTech, some with more dots, some with only one center dot, but uh, it is just neat having that distance marker. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the Chinese weapons in this game have just crappy stats. Assault rifles, carbines, even some of the shotguns, they're just not that great. And uh, I feel like DICE could look over them again, maybe improve upon them a bit, or maybe they're just crappy weapons in real life and they're trying to be authentic to the experience. Either way, I have a pretty hard time recommending this carbine. It's not particularly great and I don't plan on using it too much more unless it gets a stat update. As always, guys, thanks for watching and let me know which weapon you'd like me to master next. There's a list of them in the video description. I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap signing off.